Hi guys, welcome back to Miss Clark Does Science. Last time I introduced the term enzyme to you and we discussed how an enzyme catalyzes chemical reactions inside of cells. Today we're going to be talking about how the specific shape of an active site of an enzyme enables it to function and explain activity in terms of molecular collisions. So let's jump straight into this then. So how do these enzymes do their job? So, so far you've kind of seen these enzymes as big blocks that I've put on the screen. You don't need to know their specific function for foundation level double science. We do a little bit of structure in the next video on higher, but it's not too complicated. Enzymes essentially though, work on a lock and key basis. This is the model that we use to describe how enzymes work. So the idea is that the lock itself, the padlock is like the enzyme. And then we have whatever it's gonna be using, whatever it's gonna be reacting with. We call that the substrate or the key in the model. And the key is specific to the lock, right? So each key that you have, whether it be for your door, your locker, your anything really, if it's a physical key, there's a specific shape inside of that lock that only that key will fit. And similarly with an enzyme, enzymes are specific. So only specific things will fit into different enzymes. Because in reality, we have lots of different types of enzymes inside of us just to cope with different jobs. So what happens is the in a normal lock and key model, the key would go into the lock and it would twist and then this would unlock, right? So similarly with an enzyme, so what will happen is your starch molecule will bind with your enzyme. They will join together. It doesn't necessarily go inside like this diagram implies, but it joins together. So once it's joined, then it will come back out the other side and this will be the products. Okay, so we said before that starch gets broken down. So it's actually gets broken down into sugar molecules. So that's what happens. They come together just like in a lock and key and then something happens. So it unlocks the, key, the lock or in the enzymes case, it produces these products. Okay, so the bit on the padlock then where the key goes in, that in terms of an enzyme model is called an active site. The active site is the bit of the enzyme that only the substrate can bind to. So can you see the outline of this enzyme here? It's a similar shape to this up here where the substrate is. So can you see how that substrate is going to fit in that enzyme? So they come together just like this, so they bind together and then the enzyme basically does magic if you want to call it that. Obviously a scientific reaction occurs but you don't need to know about that reaction specifically. All you need to know is that they join together and then out pops the products. Okay, so in this case we've broken down the substrate into two smaller bits. Okay, one and two. Okay, so because it's all to do with these chemical reactions then, if you have more of these substrates, the, the more that you get, the more likely you're going to have these collisions with the enzymes. So the more likely the reaction will take place. Okay, so that's it for this part on enzymes and how they work. In the next video, I'm just going to cover very quickly the structure of enzymes and how they form things called enzyme substrate complexes. It's going to be a short video, but it just covers all of the higher level information up until this point because it makes sense to do it now.